Hey designers, welcome back to my channel and if you're new around here then I'm Charlie, I'm a designer and in this series I'm going to be taking you through my process in depth and all the details of building out my online store using Webflow e-commerce. I've been running an online store for almost a decade now and in that time I've used various different platforms for running it. But I've always felt very limited in terms of what I could do with the design of my store, either because the platforms had a limited amount of themes, or there wasn't many customization options, or with some you have to know a specific coding language in order to be able to do anything cool and custom. So I'm super excited that Webflow has brought out e-commerce. Using Webflow e-commerce, building a store in it, is just like building any other page in Webflow. You can do anything you like. I know it's gonna be super easy for me to uh, code up my design visually, and I know that I can make use of Webflow interactions too, to do some cool interactive and like animated stuff with my site that, yeah, I've never been able to do with my online store before. When I was designing my store, that meant that I wasn't just you know, designing a skin for an existing template. I wasn't just designing what settings I was gonna to change to make it look how I want. I can really put items wherever I like on the page. So yeah, um, that was a lot of fun to work through. This is a quick look at some of the designs that you'll be seeing me build out throughout the series. But here in this first video in the series, I'm gonna give you an introduction to Webflow e-commerce, show you around the tool, get you used to it, show you how it works, how I'm setting up products and categories and things like that. And yeah, let's, let's get our Base is covered before we get into building. All right, here we are in Webflow. And the first thing that we have to do is enable e-commerce. So I'm gonna come over here to this little cart icon and let's, let's get going. It's gonna create two new collections, um, products and categories, because uh, this is how it organizes all your things in your store. So let's do this. Once you've enabled e-commerce, it'll show you this checklist here of all of the things that you need to work through and make sure that you've sorted and thought about before you launch your online store. Um, so let's just take a look through the setup stuff mainly. I think we should start with showing you how you add product. So for my store, I've set up four categories and six products already. Products and categories in e-commerce are pretty much like a, a CMS collection where there's a bunch of fields where you're gonna create items for it and then you can like do certain things um, in your design with them. So there are fields that come as standard when you're adding a new product, things like a description, a main image, the price obviously, um, you can put in a, a SKU if you like do that sort of thing with your store. But there's also custom fields. So let me show you some of the custom fields that I have set up. Um, if you click on the little cog there, you can add whatever custom fields you like to your, your products. So I added space for a couple more images and I also added this reference one here to get the main category. So basically this talks to the categories collection and I'm telling it what the main category is for my product because I wanna use that later on in my design as you will see. Um, for categories that haven't added anything extra yet, let's go ahead and add my last product for now to my store. And all I have to do for this is fill out the fields, essentially. So I'm setting its main category to be matte prints, but then um, up here in the category like tags, I'm setting it to be matte prints as well as in my all products, again, because this is gonna um, come up in my design. As you can see in here for the product as well, you can also add in the measurements of it, and you can also add the weight, which comes in handy later on when you're working with shipping. Like um, it can calculate the weight of the total order based on what you tell it each item weighs in here. Now I wanna add something else to the custom fields for my categories. You might've noticed in the designs that I showed up on screen earlier, I make use of a lot of like bold colors in my design and I want those colors to be mapped to a certain category. So like all the screen prints have a pink background, that sort of thing. So what I'm gonna do is add a field here in my categories collection for color. So this means that I'll be able to set a main color for each category. Let's save that and go in and edit my categories to show it. Now, because I'm working within my personal site project, I already have saved all of my brand colors to the color palette, which is definitely something that I would recommend you do as you get started with a Webflow project. Now there's a color assigned to each category and I'm gonna be able to use that later on in my design. The next thing I should think about in setting up my online store is shipping, obviously. You need to send these products somewhere. So I'm gonna click on add shipping zone and get started planning this all out. I'm gonna start with my like local shipping, which for me is the UK.
you can charge it based on weight, like I showed you just before, when you're setting up a product, if you tell um, the system how much your product weighs, it'll calculate the, the shipping costs based on that. You can charge like a percentage of the price as shipping, um, whatever you like. I'm gonna go with quantity based for my shipping though. And I'm also gonna give my customers two different options for the shipping, either tracked or untracked, just so they can have like a cheaper option for shipping if, if they want it. So let's go for quantity based and I'm gonna call this single print untracked. Just to spell it out, I'm going to put a little description in here saying no tracking provided so they know what they're doing. Um, and this is for minimum of one, maximum of one, and it's going to be three pounds. And then add my tracking options. Then for in case someone's buying two or more prints, I'm going to set this minimum quantity of two, maximum of none, it can be as many as they like, and it's going to cost them five pounds for untracked. All right, that's my first shipping zone done. Um, let's add another one, let's go add Europe. And what I like the Webflow has done here is instead of me having to go through and select the flag of every single country in Europe, it's got shipping groups that work kind of like post office ones do. So I can just select Europe and all of the countries in Europe will be selected for me. And also because countries can only be in one shipping zone, you can see that United Kingdom is grayed out here because it's been used um, previously. All right, so now that I have all my shipping sorted, another thing to take a look at is taxes. Obviously, if you're running a business, you gotta make sure you pay your taxes. Um, my business is registered for sales tax, which means I have to charge tax on products that I sell to anyone in the UK or in Europe. So I can go in here and turn on or off if I want to charge tax for that region which is really useful. So it doesn't have to be like a store wide thing. You can do it based on country. With the US, for example, I don't have to charge tax there. So I can just turn this off and people who buy from the US won't have that included. And of course, a very important part of setting up an online store is enabling people to pay you. That's always a good thing, right? So I'm gonna connect my Stripe account right here to get that working. Okay, so now I have my category set up. I've got my products set up within those categories. Got my shipping all figured out, looked at the tax stuff, connected my payment provider. I think that means we are ready to get in and start building the store. I'm gonna end this video here though, cause there was a whole lot of stuff. And in the next one, we're gonna start with building out the product page. So this is the page for displaying a single product in my store. I'm gonna show you how all those fields that I showed you in, in the setup here come into play and yeah, how, how that's all gonna be built. If you're already excited though and you wanna just get straight into Webflow and get started building your own store, then there'll be a link on the screen right now and also in the description where you can go do that. But give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, if you're excited for the series to come and I will see you in the next video. All right, bye.